deliver us from the evil one. That's what it actually says in the, the Greek there, you know? It doesn't just say from evil, like this abstract evil. It says from the evil one, meaning the devil, Satan, um, that we are delivered from this foe. But how are we delivered from this evil one? It's not going to happen in this life. It's not going to happen like, okay, you're going to have one day where there's finally no evil in your life. Where it's like, okay, everything is, is peaceful. Everything's going according to plan. Everything's working. And now I have peace. I have serenity now. It's not going to happen. When are we finally delivered from the evil one and the evil of the world and our flesh is when Jesus finally takes us from this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. When we finally breathe our last breath and are ushered through the portal to life immortal, are we delivered from the evil one? So what you have now are little glimpses of that deliverance. In holy absolution, your pastor is giving you a little bit of heaven. He's bringing heaven to you and saying, this is what you're inheriting. This is what's for you. As you struggle with the evil one, as you struggle with the wickedness of the world and your flesh, take heart, you are forgiven. Take heart, you are loved. Take courage, weary soul. Because the evil one's not going to back down, but there is one who has overcome him for you, Jesus the Christ. He has defeated the devil. He has overcome the world. He has died and paid the debt you owe to the Father because of your sin. And he will continue to hold you in his hand as he carries you unto life immortal. So be at peace. You are being delivered from the evil one. And that day will be fully delivered, where you'll have nothing but bliss and peace for, forever. Oh, I was going to say eternally, forever. Fun mumbling time there for me. God bless y'all. See you next time.